this guy found the ruins of a forgotten home and dug for treasure. The assortment of artifacts he found on this trip, most common home site items, but a few are particularly exciting and intriguing. This is Brad, an amateur treasure hunter in Vermont, USA. Speaking to a local hunter, he was given a very vague direction to what was believed to be the remains of a home deep within the mountains of Vermont. Equipped with a compass and verbal instructions, he set out on foot across the maze of stone walls and forest. Along the way, he came across a fallen telegraph pole. These poles were all abandoned when those living in the mountains moved on and the glass insulators can be found strewn about the forest floor. After finding a couple sinkholes which the hunter could have misidentified as old basements, he nearly gave up hope. He pressed on and finally found the remains of an early basement along a river. The stacked stone cellar had mostly fallen in but still had a square shape. One of the most interesting bits is this tin plate which reads Centennial Art Gallery. Apparently, the plate is in reference to the Centennial International Exhibition in Philadelphia, 1878. Perhaps the plate was affixed to a piece of art purchased from the exhibition? This is a clasp from a piece of ladies' underwear, of course it most likely. The most exciting find of the day has to be this coat button depicting crossed cannons and a flaming cannonball. This button would have been worn by French artillerists in 1783 to 1914. Why it was found in the deep mountains of Vermont is a mystery. Share this video with your friends below.